All right, so what we're gonna talk about and discuss today is the basics of a concealed defensive draw. If you're in a position where you have to draw your firearm uh, for a defensive encounter, uh, this is the, the, the mode you wanna do that. So, if you are concealed carry and you're under a t-shirt or wherever you're carrying at, if you're at appendix or anywhere you're around your body at, you gotta get your shirt out of the way. So. Uh, one of the positioning aspects of your support hand, which is this hand, your left hand, off hand, this is my shooting hand, is to get my uh, support hand to um, get my shirt out of the way. So if I don't have a shirt that's in the way, I'm gonna go from this position of my, my support hand. I wanna come straight to my chest, and from my chest, I'm gonna bring, so for instance, if I'm open carrying on a sidearm, I wanna go straight from my chest, here, I'm gonna bring the firearm up to my support hand and press straight out from here. Why is it that I do that? Um, I wanna make sure that when I'm pressing and pulling that out, I'm being able to press right in my line of sight so that I can catch a sight alignment and sight picture in the process of moving away from my chest and out. That's a way of not spending and wasting time um, coming from the position of here, up and out. We don't ever wanna take these type of angles. I always talk about in the defensive uh, stance that we always want to be pressing out from the body. Uh, we don't want to be taking tomahawk, tomahawk uh, presses, you know, like you'll see this in movies where people will do this type of thing. Uh, we don't want that type of environment, so we always want to be coming straight up, taking right angles. So right angles meaning up and out, um, or instead of coming, you know, from here and this way type of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight from my chest. If I'm open carrying here, out, press, I'm gonna be watching my target, and then my sights are gonna come in to my line of sight, just like that. So as I'm pressing the firearm out, I'm catching my sight alignment. By the time I get out and I'm here, I have sight alignment, sight picture, and I'm ready to squeeze the fire. All of that can happen within seconds, all right? So let me show you how this looks from a concealed position. Uh, from a concealed position, and you guys can see I'm, I got I got shorts on right now with a drawstring. Uh, so this may be a little more difficult this way than if you're wearing a tactical belt or a belt with a harness or excuse me with a holster or whatever the case is. But so I want you all to understand also that this smooth is fast, right? So I don't have to go you know real quick to try to make this happen to be quick because ultimately what happens is I'm gonna end up fumbling, I'm gonna get caught up on something. So smooth is fast. Do something smooth. It takes you less time than fumbling through the process. If you just go smooth, get it out, press it out, get it where you need to go. And I'm gonna show you how this looks from a concealed position. That's it. Just that quick. So again, it went fast, but it was smooth. It wasn't like I, I jerked and I did a whole lot to get it out. I just took my time did it correctly and got it out. So here again, I'm gonna show you. If I'm in a defensive situation, that's it. Think about a defensive situation you're in. Somebody's this far away from me and I need to get my firearm out and I need to make distance with them, right? So say for instance, I'm in a position where I don't want them to grab for my firearm or if I go to release, they grab this arm, now I'm stuck with my gun on my hip, and they can do whatever they want to my face or about my body, whatever the case is. So how would I might deal with that situation? Think about this. I'm in a defensive situation. I know that I need to draw my firearm. So I take a step back as I'm pulling this, get out. Now I'm in a position that I've made about two feet of separation from that person right there. That's it. Again, this is giving yourself distance. As you can see, I'm standing pretty close. If the person was as far as they are away from me, I don't want them to be able to gain space on me. So as I go to pull my shirt up, I'm gonna take this step back. As I go to collect the firearm at my chest range, I'm gonna take the other step back to give myself a good solid base, and now I'm ready to go.
One important thing about pulling out of a holster, say for instance there's multiple targets, let your eyes go to where your gun needs to go first. So for instance, if my target's in front of me and over here, and I draw, and I catch this, this here, if I'm moving over here, I want my eyes to be there first. I want to pull my eyes to it and move over. With hand-eye coordination, where your eyes go, your hands will follow. So if I'm here and I need to go over there, I'm going to move over here with my eyes first, follow with my, with my fire. Always support hand to the chest. If you have a shirt you have to remove, pull that shirt up with that left support hand. Keep that hand up there as you're pulling out. You'll get out. Meet that hand up here. Press out from your head, your face here. So when you press out from the face, when you have the firearm up here, where you can grab right here, get inside of it, you're pressing up and walk. The whole time you're pressing out, you're catching sight alignment and sight picture, and now you're on. So you're not wasting that time of coming here and then only catching the sight picture and the sight alignment as you get the firearm down. You're pressing it straight out, and as you're pressing out, you're catching sight alignment and sight picture. Again, remember, smooth is fast. So my whole goal is to get the shirt up out of the way, bring the firearm, meet my hands here, and pull out. That took all of less than a second. Now, they didn't have to be all jumbled and fast. Smooth was fast in that situation.